Welcome back to the Chelsea career mode here on FC24. After progression in the FA Cup in the last episode, we look to do so once more today as we have Tottenham again, this time in the Cup, whereas yesterday it was in the league. Defeat to Manchester City in frustrating circumstances. The draw against Tottenham in frustrating circumstances. All three of the games yesterday could have been 1-0 wins. Only one of them ended up as such. Brentford away to start, then Newcastle at home, which is a very important game as well, given the nature of the league table right now. We have Brentford who are 19th to begin, so we've got to win that one, surely, although they have been a bogey team of mine of recent uh, career modes. And we could send Brentford one step closer to going down themselves if we beat them in the first game of the day today. As ever, drop the video a like if you could be so kind. We could hit over a thousand again, that'd be absolutely superb. You guys haven't let me down with that so far in the entirety of the save. Of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the notification bell ticked and you won't miss a single episode coming to you every single weekday. And thank you to Afik, Ben and Nocta for your continued support in the comment section of every single video. Keep your comments coming and you stand a chance of being in the background uh, in future episodes. You guys have been really supportive with that, so thank you very much. It's been a tremendous help to the channel, so thank you. It's been the most support we've seen for a save for a while so i can't thank you enough for that keep it going i'd appreciate it and i will keep the content coming to you do come across and join me on twitch if you'd like to watch live and see all of the behind the scenes brentford starting with a 4-3-3 they have lost their last five straight games yikes for them they play kick and rush and with flecken in goal Harris, Jensen and Janelt in midfield. Sharda would normally perhaps be starting up top for them, but obviously more fatigued than Mope. Carlos Vela is a new signing on the right-hand side, which would be very good. Luca Digne as well is a new signing, but he's on the bench as he's fatigued as well. Mikkel Damsgaard will be dangerous, uh, as will Keen Lewis Potter, to be fair. I bet he goes quite well in career mode still. We're going to boost morale a little bit, and then it's game time. Whoa, through the board. Uh, it's a broken drone, I think, to be completely honest. A couple of changes to the starting lineup for this one. Considering he scored in real life for Chelsea, uh, most recently on Monday night, Armando Broya gets the start up top for us today. And Cole Palmer had a very good game in that fixture as well. So he starts in the slightly now further forward central midfield role with uh, Enzo Fernandez and João Polinia sat just behind him. Only two changes. I would have put Mudrick in, but he's absolutely knackered after the FA Cup game just three days ago. So he is on the bench only. Noni with a switch out to Sterling. Just nod this back there nicely to chill. We'll go Broya first, then go to Raheem. Mm, that didn't quite work, but here's Cole Palmer. He can go to Raheem. That was a dead pass, a really dead pass. But Cole Palmer's in behind now. And can Cole get his first goal for the club? Yes, he can! Cole Palmer gets the start. Cole Palmer gets the goal. We lead by 1-0. to nil. His pass to Raheem Sterling was... Really not very good at all. But thankfully, the two former Manchester City men combine now in a slightly deeper blue. And we do eventually take the lead here against Brentford. They're in the relegation zone and they may well be going back to the championship. Here we go again. Wants to. This Reese James. Cut inside, then look for Broyer, I think, in that gap. And Broyer has Cole Palmer who's in again. I could have maybe played it into Sterling. Perhaps I should have with the extra man over. Oh, and I thought I knew it was going to get there with Enzo then as well. Can you change to Polina, please? No, okay. Whoa, Di Sassi wins that very dominantly. I mean, that is excellent distribution from your goalkeeper. You can't ask for much more than that. And it set Brentford up for what might be a very promising attack here. Johan Wisser trying to utilise that pace. Here's Matthias Jensen and Neil Mope. And Diogo Costa makes a very important save to deny them a level up. That came out of nowhere. They've done nothing, really, Brentford, all game. And then that one pass from the goalkeeper and everybody was positioned well enough for them to just be in the right place at the right time to have a very good chance on goal. Likudinje off the bench here and Diogo's forced into another save, we said. They had him as an option on the way in. Johan Whistle with the corner from the far side for a second time. Hopefully get a bit more distance on the clearance this time. In fact, we don't even get a clearance, but Chaloba's underneath this. And I'll just lift it to ensure that Reese James gets to it. Didn't quite go as far down the line as I hoped that it would. But we are going to get away, and I've got support centrally now that I can use to ensure that we don't concede. An hour nearly played. Still just the one goal to nil, but one goal to nil. Ha! Ah, what is that, mate? Is enough. Thank you, Joao Polina. You were worth every penny so far corner. Yeah, he did touch. I wasn't sure if Reece just stepped in front. It's late. 
Waiting for an equaliser here. Conor Gallagher clears. And Sterling will get to that first. Yes, he does. Oh, challenged by Rico Henry. Sterling seemingly stumbled backwards, which was not great. Christopher Ayer and Rico Henry. We used Ayer at Sheffield United, didn't we? He was very good for me. Rico Henry getting down the line. Please don't the Brentford equalise now. Conor Gallagher with a lovely little toe out to block that. And we will get the single goal to nil victory against Brentford. Could have had more. And they certainly could have maybe won. But Diogo Costa made a couple of good saves. So did Flecken. We'll take the three points and be happy enough with those for now. At the minute, points are more important than sorting the goal difference out. There's no point having a great goal difference, but not enough points on the board. So did Newcastle win on their last match day? They did. So the gap is still four. West Ham crucially didn't. They drew. So West Ham can now no longer catch us from behind. So we're top eight and looking solely forward now, provided we can get victory or at least avoid defeat against Newcastle. Barnes, Isak, Miggy Almer, Antonali, Jolinton, Bruno, Target, Byrne, Botman, Trippier, Pope. It's a better lineup than we faced against them last time. They were resting a couple of players when we played. Newcastle earlier in the season. Nice to see that the side is stronger now. Maybe, obviously we'll test it when we get further into the save, but maybe the old lineup issues of the past two or three years are solved. That would be absolutely wonderful if they were. We'll start at full, full strength for this next one. Right, apart from the City and Tottenham games, this is probably the most important game. In fact, it's probably more important than City and Tottenham, to be fair, considering... Newcastle are one of the sides that are genuinely catchable for us rather than... Jesus Christ, he's quick. Oh my God, Harvey Barnes. Newcastle are genuinely catchable, whereas obviously City and Tottenham were just too far away and they're games that we perhaps expect not to get anything from. This is a game that, should we win it... Oh my Lord, Dan Byrne is a giant. Could genuinely change our fortunes for chances of European football for next season. We get up with Fafana, I can't. Alexander Isak out muscles me. And Newcastle take a 1-0 lead through the Swede. It was a very, very good header. We hope it's not the knockout blow that Alexander thinks it is. Barnes, heavy touch. Rhys James will get there. Get this all the way across here. Maybe a counter. Chopolini is not rapid. We didn't buy him for his pace, to be fair. But on occasion, it might be nice if we were a little bit faster. Chile into Nkunku. Try and wrong foot the defender. Botman coming with me. Dan Byrne too. Nkunku going solo. And doing so to fantastic effect. Chris Nkunku equalises for Chelsea Football Club just 10 minutes after we went behind. And that is a wonderful solo effort. Into the box. Dan Byrne with him. Sven Botman there too. Turns Byrne, who I anticipated wouldn't have the agility and balance to deal with a change of direction. He didn't. And Christopher has a wonderful... Although, to be fair, it's not right into the corner as I thought it was. Shot power rather than accuracy. Beating Pope. God, Miguel Ron's quick. Di Sassi. Nowhere near it. Oh, that's a great cross. Go! Oh! Diogo Costa pats it onto the post as if he's playing batter cake. Oh, my Lord. And Sterling will look for Polina. So, well, Polina is not my goal scorer. But he might be my provider. And Kunku to Sterling. I've got so many men here forward. We'll look for Noni at the back post. Oh, we have found him. And here is Caicedo. Pope somehow manages to keep it out. Brilliant ball across. The right thing to do to cut it back. But we couldn't find the finish. And Kunku. Sterling's through. They committed bodies forward. It might be their undoing. It will be. Raheem the Dream extends the advantage. The one time Matt Target pushed on. And that's where we exposed them. They lose possession in our half and we break at pace. And that's what we have the luxury of being able to do with Nkunku, Sterling and Noni Madueke as a front three. To dramatic effect. Sorry, Magpies. Enzo tried to get there, couldn't. Reese James does, but there's so many green and white shirts forward here. Can't really get rid of this. Miggy! 2-2! Two, two. How the defenders missed it as it came into the box, I'm not entirely too sure. I need to have a look at the replay, but Miggy Almiron, with the acrobatic effort to give Newcastle their equaliser, blocks it with Reese James here, falls back. To, oh, it just just squirms through. I need to have a look at. I, I need to have a look at a different angle because I'm not. I really no idea how that actually 
came about. So we get the block on it here. And somehow it, it squeezes. Does it just go through Reese James's legs? Like cannons off one boot onto the other. Look, hits him on the left foot and then hits him on the right foot. And then the ball goes directly where it was supposed to. And I thought Fafana might step in here and he just looked at it. And DCC wasn't close enough. Great chest control. And then the finish is out of this world. Lucky by Newcastle, but they'll take it. It's 2 2. Win that. Yes, De Sassi. That could be vital. Kunku. Lift it. Noni's in. Noni Menaweke is going to go through Pope. And in. We may yet get our victory today. Chelsea 3, Newcastle 2. Lofted ball. Noni with the pace just to nudge past the defender. Get inside Matt Target. Bring it down on his chest. And Nick Pope's outstretched leg just wasn't quite enough to keep it out. Come on. Get in. We want these three points. We might just get them. Oh, nicely done by Enzo. Oh, so I'm playing you. I'm sure about that, mate. Seems to take an age to react to the fact the ball was near him. He's like, if he finds the ball through the channel, it could be in for an equaliser still, Newcastle. Sandro Tonali finds Harvey Barnes. Yeah, seeing Martson. Very, very well done by the fullback. Who's had enough. He's only just come on the pitch. It was a lovely through ball. It just wouldn't quite reach Leslie quickly enough, would it? Ball inside. Nico Jackson. Can't force the issue, but time has gone. Time has gone. Give me those three points. Yes. Back in touch with Newcastle in seventh. Just a point behind them now. And challenging once more for potentially a European spot with a difficult run-in, but a run-in that could yield the points we need. Europe via the league might be an option as well as Europe via the FA Cup. We'll find out whether Europe via the FA Cup is still an option after we've played Tottenham next. Tottenham strong as ever. I believe that's the same 11 that played against us in the league just recently. It was a 1-1 draw with a late goal from them to steal them that extra point. This time, no points on the board, no points available. It's quite simply Wembley for a semi-final or out. Not really the draw we wanted for this round of the FA Cup. But if you want to win trophies, you do have to beat the best teams. And Tottenham are certainly one of the best this season, that's for sure. Ange Ball is fantastic. And continually, Tottenham playing very well in real life. Can they replicate that here? Can we? Oh, it's a dead pass. Get ourselves through to Wembley for the first time in this save. It's Kulisevsky. I can't. Give me Enzo, thank you. Bloody hell. Pedro Porro. How has that gone through the goalkeeper there? Diogo, you are so good 98% of the time. I don't need the 2% to come in a cup quarter final. How's that gone through him? How's it even gone past him? Oh, that's so bad from the keeper. Knock that down. Counter attack. Come on. Come on. Hold him up. Hold him off. And Kunku's there. Sterling needs to make me a better run than that. Here comes Chile. Noni's at the back post. Conor Gallagher's in the middle as well. A little dink towards the edge of the box and it's just too much on it. Noni down. Conor Gallagher. Good position. Conor! Inside of the post and away. Win that header. Unbelievable, Jeff. How have we not equalised? Oh, we might go 2-0 down. Kulosevsky in behind. But is Chile going to outmuscle him well? Free kick for me. I'm going to take this short. Not there. Not there. Oh, Lord. No, that was meant for Gallagher. Am I apparently not allowed to pass the ball to Conor Gallagher? Enzo. Nkunku. Noni. Gallagher. Noni's there again. Nkunku's there. Shot blocked by Udogi's backside and out for a Chelsea throw. Just moments left in this first half to find an equaliser. Will it come? Oh, nearly. 
nearly good save by Hugo Lloris. Raheem Sterling with this delivery. I see, you know what? I'm going to put Reese James on them because he's the one that always seems to be underneath them. And I just don't need Reese James underneath, underneath corners. I need someone that's taller. As it falls to Nkunku. Sterling on the edge of the box. Into Badio Sile. Conor Gallagher just trying to find some space to drill it back into the middle. Hoping for a fortunate rebound, which we actually got. And we do have the equaliser in stoppage time. Oh, this Chelsea side have some fight in them now. Enzo Fernandez equalises with Richarlison's grey-haired dad, apparently, in the stand. Floated out to Hume min Son. Didn't know where that touch was going to end up, to be honest. Son is the danger man for Spurs and has been every time we've played them. The doggy cuts back to Son. Tipped over by Diogo. Able to get it over the top of the bar for a Tottenham corner. He'll take the set piece himself, Son, but it'll go short to Kulisevsky. He's going to try and get past Conor Gallagher here. Oh, it's a nice idea, but it doesn't quite come off. Whoa! Full-blooded, that challenge. Full-blooded. Pedro Porro. Oh, he's done me. So effective this year. That change in acceleration and burst of pace works so well. Kulisevsky, don't let him shoot on his left. Don't let him shoot on his left. Don't let him shoot on his left. Blocked well. Don't let him shoot on his left. Don't let him shoot on his left. Don't let him shoot on his left. Who's that free kick for? Don't tell me it's theirs. I think it's mine. Handball. Oh, thank the Lord for that. Right, we're still at 1-1. It will go to extra time here. There is no replay at the quarterfinal stage. So we are going all the way to find out who a winner is. Right here and now today. Don't let him get in onside on that left foot, for Christ's sake. We're well, in Chile. And then Mikhailo. Oh, Madrid. Just scored against Fulham. Can he score against Spurs? Yeah! Are we going to Wembley for an FA Cup semi-final? We may just be. Mikhailo Mudrik on the breakaway as their substitute, James Madison, has the wrong impact off the bench. A turnover in midfield with bodies committed forward, space in behind, and he's the quickest man on the pitch. No stopping him. Tidy finish. We're getting the results we want today. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> from kickoff Kulisevsky down the right rips me apart and Richarlison is right man right time burst between two and oh how that falls so kindly for him in the battle with Fafana I'll never know okay the lead didn't last for long James Gallagher Noni we do it from kickoff can we do it from kickoff Looking for Noni. Maybe. Maybe. Noni. Enzo. And Kunku. Palinia. Oh, wrong side of the man. Wow. Uh oh. No, oh, try to outmuscle him. Couldn't. Don't like. Do not like. Diogo Costa. Biggest save he's made in his entire Chelsea career and his teammates recognise it. What Rhys James and the other defender were doing so deep with that one man. I've no idea to play him on side for that pass. Inexplicable, but get rid of this. Gallagher does well and Fafana will bring that down. It looks like we're headed to extra time here and could be around the corner. Or can we? Maybe. No, we can't. It will be another 30 minutes at Stamford Bridge. Son. Malin Reese contemplated taking Reese James off, elected not to. Glad of that at the moment. Oh, or am I? Yes. Yep, yeah, no, definitely am. Caicedo's come on. Oh, God. Caicedo's come on. Where is Badi Usile going? Just step, mate. They're all offside. No. Yes, Badi Usile. Oh, no, it's meant for Conor Gallagher. Don't do it to me, game. Don't do it to me. Well in, Reese. Oh, Caicedo's come on, eventually, able to actually tell you about that. Heavy touch by Son. Hoybier, it reaches Richarlison, it reaches in the middle as well, but we get rid. Use Caicedo first, Mikhailo's going to go for a run, is he? He is, but Caicedo kicks it directly to the feet of the Tottenham man, inexplicably. Here's Kulosevsky again, who's been electric every time we've played against Tottenham Hotspur. Hoybier. 
wild into the stands. This may well go to penalties here. Can I get there? Can I get there? Can I get there? Chile's been turned. Kulusevski. I can't deal with Kulusevski. I just can't do it. He's too good. He's turned Chilwell there. And Richarlison scores again. And Tottenham now lead by three goals to two. They've turned it around twice. Look for Noni with a big ping. Win the header against the doggy. Look at the way Tottenham press. It's forcing me backwards. I've only got 15 minutes. And now I've got even less than that. Oh, Kulusevski. Tell you what. Anybody that's doing an FC 24 career mode that has the money, buy Kulusevski. He's the best player on the game as far as I can make out. Madison could have sealed it. It's a really, really tame effort. Madison could have sealed it. And Kunku's going. I didn't fancy being able to find him with the pass, though. Not yet. Now James looks for Nkunku. And here comes Conor Gallagher. The man who we nearly sold in January has saved our bacon here in the 115th minute. He gives it to Jude Bellingham. We're still in this FA Cup tie. 3-3. Three, three. Addison. That's a Kulisewski. They just know that he's the man, don't they? Well in, Baddy Ashile. Oh, my God. We couldn't, could we? Make me the run, Christopher. Make me the run. Oh, it's deflected. It's going to be penalties, isn't it? It's going to be penalties unless I can steal this away from them and Hugo Lloris makes a terrible mistake. It's going to be pens. It is a penalty shootout at Stamford Bridge for the chance to go to Wembley. That man has earned us the chance of still going through. There's a man there sat as if he was on a seat on the sideline when he wasn't actually sat on anything. Doesn't give you the chance to change your penalty shoot. Penalty takers, that's intriguing. Something maybe to bring up to the devs. Enzo scores the goal. Richarlison, at least if it does, it does it via a different menu. Richarlison buries as you expected that he would. Christopher and Kunku, I'm gonna go straight down the middle and regret it immediately. Madison. Top right hand corner, good finish. Advantage, Spurs. Reese James will go top left. Finished well. I need Tottenham to make a mistake. Hyung Min Son, lot of power. Bottom corner, they've gone right every time here, Tottenham. Noni Madaweke. Berries. Still the chance remains that we could get through. Pedro Porro. Oh, he's gone. They've gone right every time, and I've gone the right way twice and still couldn't get there. The man that is the sole reason why we're in this penalty shootout. Misses his penalty, and we still go out. I dived that way twice. Couldn't get there. Hugo Lloris did. Spurs advance in the semi-finals, or to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Our biggest rivals at home beat us. Now the board are going to have something to say. I've been in the green all season long. But now I'm out of the FA Cup without winning it. Now we see how fierce Todd Bowley may well be. As we advance. It's gone down a little bit. But actually, not as far as I expected it to. I thought I'd be down in the orange as we approached this Burnley game. But I am still alright with the board. One imagines as soon as the top four becomes mathematically impossible. Which to be fair, isn't that far away. Still. No, hang on, even further. 18 points, the gap, to fourth spot, which is six games. So, at the very earliest, by the 32nd match day, we could be out of contention for a Champions League spot. We are only a single point behind Newcastle at the moment, though, with Burnley to play next to a 15th. We'll go to the tactical sim, and we hopefully 
we'll get ourselves a victory. Thank you for your feedback, by the way, on the tactical sim last time. I appreciate it. You guys seem to enjoy it, so we will do that again. Burnley lost four of their last five, as opposed to uh, Brentford's five in a row defeated. You can see their starting lineup there. They're playing a counter attacking style of play. I'll start with, I think, the same 11 that played in the cup. No, Conor Gallagher started, didn't he, ahead of Caicedo. And DSRC was out for Birdie Ashile. Got to go. Got to go with the full 11. Here we go then. Burnley at home. We need a result. Caicedo into Nkunku. He's got runners around him. There's Sterling out wide. It'd be a great start. Sterling into the box. Enzo. <gasps> what a save by Muric. How we haven't scored that, I'm not sure. That was a brilliant stop. We were destined to go 1-0 up there. I'm sure of it. Reem Sterling taking the corner. Can we get the ball in? Delivered in. Palinha heads wide. It's all Chelsea so far. Here's Sterling again. And Enzo again. Wider the target this time. It's all Chelsea. It's all Chelsea. It was a save actually by Muric. Sterling with another corner. Only nine minutes in. Sterling with a corner. Flicked up and away. But Madueke recovers. Go for goal maybe. He will. Blocked well. Chile with the corner. And Kunku with a wonderful header. Thankfully, through the narrow gap between the fourth, or fifth, fourth official and uh, Vincent Company, we could see that flying to the top corner. That was fantastic from Christopher and Kunku into the far top corner. Delivered in by Chile. Up goes Nkunku. And that was unstoppable. 1-0 Chelsea. Brilliant header. Not too dissimilar from Nico Dominguez's in terms of the way that it loops over the keeper into the back of the net. Where are we going, Koseda? Where are you going, mate? Running down a blind alley. Noni Madueke found. Side to Enzo. A second goal would kill it, especially at this late stage. Here's Michaelo. Into Nico Jackson. Enzo. Golasso. 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 It's two. That'll be game. All the Burnley players flattened. All the Chelsea players running out. And the camera has frozen. Sorry, Burnley lads. But unfortunately, that is, uh, that's going to be game. Are we going to get a replay? It's, I think it's doing one of the, you know, the cutscenes where it, they go like crazy when you score a late goal. I think it was doing that, but it didn't actually cut to it. Oh, keeper's got to do better at his near post there, really, doesn't he? Enzo Fernandez seals the points for us here at Stamford Bridge. And that will be three more to go towards the European trail. Ref. In a moment, we'll blow his final whistle, please. Indeed, he does. Thank you very much. That will be three points for the Chelsea. And that's another win for us today. A win in every league game, at least. Although, unfortunately, the one game where I desperately needed a victory, we didn't get it in the FA Cup against Spurs. Not to worry. It means we solely now can concentrate on the league for the rest of the season. Uh, we start tomorrow... <laughs> With Manchester United. That's not going to be particularly straightforward, is it? The rest of the season looks as you see it there. So it'll be Man United, Arsenal and Villa will play. We'll see them Sheffield United and Everton. And then in the season finale, we will play West Ham, Brighton and Bournemouth probably. And Sim Forest away. Two episodes to go before the end of the season. And then we'll know exactly what we want to do in season two, won't we? That's all for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss out on that season finale run-in. We are going for a European spot. Can we make it?